Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're going to be looking at the percentage drawdown from the all-time high. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com, where you can, of course, access this chart, but also the same chart for a lot of different cryptocurrencies, as well as um, stocks, commodities, indices, etc. So we're going to keep this one relatively short and sweet. I just think that looking at, at the percent drawdown from the all-time high is useful for Bitcoin to sort of get an idea of, of where we are with respect to the, the mania phase from the prior cycle. You can see, generally speaking, I mean, that the first cycle, we went all the way down to about 93% down. Um, and then the, the cycle after that, you know, on the daily time frame, it was only about 82% down, but it was it was actually a bit more than that. Uh, maybe about 86 or 87 percent. I think when you look at at, at Wix and whatnot, very similar. Um, this cycle over here, and then of course so far we've seen it go down about 75 percent or so. But again, on a, on a on a Wick, it, it was actually all the way down to 77 percent when you compare the highs um, from 2021. But interestingly enough, I what you'll notice in in both of these prior moves is you'll sort of see a spike at some point. Um, and it'd be interesting to know if, if we're sort of forming one of those again, um, sort of in route, because one of the things you'll notice here in 2015 is there was a spike all the way up to negative 32%. So only, only down about 32% from the highs before we had a, a, a cool off period that lasted, you know, a couple of months or so. And then over here, we had a spike all the way up to about 30, 34% down. And then, and then of course, we went into a cool down phase for, actually in that case, it was about nine months. So you have 32% down and then 34% down. And right now, you can actually see we're about 38% down. Um, and the, the 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 closest it got, I suppose, was right here at around 34 to 35 percent down. So this might be an interesting thing to sort of continue to watch in the coming months to see if if it's just sort of forming a spike into the spot ETF where it gets you know a decent way back to that you know those those prior levels, but it doesn't quite make it there only for it to then go into, go into a cool off period for a few months, because you can see it, it really happened both cycles. And of course, it, it, it's hard to see the spike um, when you're in it. But again, same thing, you know, same thing kind of over here. And 2019 was, was interesting because, you know, Bitcoin had a, a very significant rally just before rate cuts arrived. And, and you know, for those following what the Federal Reserve is doing, they're likely going to start cutting rates next year. And so it, it makes you wonder if we're sort of setting up for a very similar outcome again, um, especially going into sort of the spot ETF hype that, that might be coming at the beginning of, of January. So something to keep an eye on, um, just the percent drawdown from the all-time high for Bitcoin. You can also view it for, for other things as well. I mean, just for reference, here's what it looks like for the total market cap. Not nearly as impressive. Um, you know, total market cap of crypto, it's still down about 45 and a half percent from the highs. If you were to look at it for Ethereum, it's actually down about 53.87 percent from the highs. So, you know, I, I know I've, I've heard a lot of people say that that Ethereum is is holding up well over the last couple of years against Bitcoin, but it is notable. And, you know, and we've talked before about how the Ether Bitcoin pair has been putting in lower highs since the merge. It is notice notable that Ethereum is down about 54% from the highs, whereas Bitcoin is down about 38% from the highs. So, you know, this is again is, is proof that Bitcoin has been holding stronger than Ethereum since those highs from, from 2021. So, again, looking at it with Ethereum, this is what it looks like, right? And, and, and for the lows, that we've previously seen in terms of the drawdown so far, it's about 79% um, when you're not including the Wix. And then over here is about 94% or so. But anyways, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Again, I, I said we we're gonna keep this one short and sweet. Maybe the last thing we'll do is apply moving average to it and, and it might, might help visualize some of this stuff. So if you look at like a 30-day SMA 
of the percent drawdown from the highs. Uh, you'll see that in 2016, we sort of went up to about 40% down in terms of a 30-day a, a moving average. 2019, it was about you know 43% down or so. And right now, we're actually sitting around 40% down. So interesting times uh, that we're currently in. And, and we'll see if, you know, we'll see if there's a cool down period in Bitcoin price action sometime, you know, especially as we get into after the theoretical spot ETF news, whether it, you know, whether it sort of finalizes or not in, in January. Anyways, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And again, check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Link is in the description below. We do have several tiers available. And of course, you can get access to this chart as well as a lot of the other charts that we talk about in the videos. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.